Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing my thoughts on episode 13 of the anime series Copelion. And for all intents and purposes, this is the series finale. <laughs> Talk about an epic way to end this one. You know, I mean, it had a little bit of everything. We're picking up right where we left off, of course. In the heat of the chase, the giant iron spider mecha has been reactivated by Kanon Ozu, the electricity-powered Ozu's sister. I was very surprised that she actually brought her sister with her, Shion. I thought maybe she had actually gone psychotic enough to have, if not killed her sister, at least left her for dead at the train station we last saw them at. But, you know, you have them barreling down on this escaping train with the survivors of the planet, the survivors of the First Division, the Capellian Unit Girls, all of them in tow, and it's just epic the way the battle wages in this episode, much like when the Iron Spider first appeared, it comes in waves, and it's very much like a boss battle at, you know, uh, a certain stage in like a video game like Metal Gear Solid, as I compared it to with the original appearance of this giant, you know, Iron Spider mecha, and I absolutely love it that it goes in stages, because you have Ibarra using an RPG missile launcher, and, you you know, she misses, and then uh, they have to try to get, like, a water spigot to fall down on top of the thing and, you know, try to short out her electricity powers. It's just like every single step is ramping up the tension, ramping up the suspense. And you have a nice little sort of melancholy moment where Ibarra is knocked out for the count almost, and she's remembering once again Haruto and sort of calling out to him, and that empowers her to do something further. And you have everybody kind of getting involved. And what's really interesting is, once again, you know, as I noted in a previous episode where we had uh, the seeming death of Haruto, as well as the white cloak wearing First Division head, when they both apparently met their end, you know, it was a full sort of character arc for them both. And once again, we have that on display with the Ozu sisters, which really surprised the hell out of me to make them sympathetic and make them sort of open their eyes and appreciate what the Copelian girls have been trying to do, save lives and all that stuff. Off. And now where they've been sort of vicious enemies, we have a turning point for this ending where they've all kind of, you know, they've all found a relatable essence between them and they're kind of now on the same level playing field. They're all friends again and everything like that. And uh, that was just astounding to me. Of course, the babies are born and uh, Ibarra gets to name them sends everybody happily uh, on their merry way, being saved by the chopper. You know, the vice principal shows up against orders, but in the nick of time to save them all, leaving the Capellian girls behind. And, of course, there's that bittersweet moment where you're reminded that they could die at any moment, that, you know, their mission continues until they just sort of, their flame just sort of snuffs out. So um, I definitely think it's open for potentially having a follow-up series, a sequel series, or, you know, an OVA, OVA or what have you. And I would absolutely love to see more of this story. This is probably my favorite of the fall anime, you know, series so far, uh, with Log Horizon being a top billing as well. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of this finale episode for Copelion, if you've followed it. If you haven't, go back and watch every episode because it was just awesome. Awesomely paced, awesome action, awesome pathos and relatable characters. And yeah, so that'll be it for me. I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you later. Peace.